While researchers have made strides in understanding the initial infection, long COVID is still poorly understood and is quickly becoming a major health concern. Joanna Gaga speaks with one teacher who had COVID but is still experiencing symptoms one year later. I feel like my chest is caving in, that I have to stop and I'm drenched in sweat and I then have to stop to try to gather myself to breathe. And that never, ever happened to me before. Before COVID, that is, Monica D'Astasio caught COVID around Christmas in 2021, and her breathing problems progressively got worse as the illness progressed. But when her struggles continued for weeks and then months after the infection, she learned she was experiencing long COVID. This is something I never suffered from before, ever. I never had asthma. I never had issues, any kind with breathing, going upstairs, walking, running, none of that. I used to be a fanatic of the gym and I was able to handle it just fine. But now my breathing has changed tremendously. D'Astasio is part of a growing group of people who are experiencing a multitude of symptoms that can last for weeks, months, even years after their initial COVID illness. According to the CDC, about one in five adults over the age of 18 have a health condition that might be related to their previous COVID-19 infection. Sometimes it's clear and sometimes it's not clear when long COVID is present. The symptoms of long COVID in children as with adults can be fatigue, loss of energy, loss of exercise tolerance, pain, shortness of breath, as well as a, a myriad of other nonspecific types of symptoms. Uh, identifying long COVID can be a challenge sometimes for families and sometimes for doctors alike. We're still studying it to see how frequent each of these symptoms is. In D'Astasio's case, she's already been living with Graves disease, an autoimmune condition that makes her heart race, among other symptoms. Adding long COVID to the mix presented new health challenges for her. My heart is already racing, so now I'm having issues with the breathing and the two are not, they're not helping out each other at all. So that's been a grand, a really big issue. I went for a CAT scan, a pulmonary function test, and I did not pass any of them. <laughs> what did they find? They found an inflammation in my lungs. Dr. Kleinman says treatment for long COVID is much different than treating the acute illness itself. In this case, treatment focuses solely on the symptoms. Whether it be uh, the inflammatory symptoms or some form of rehabilitation, physical rehabilitation to build up exercise tolerance or what's known as cognitive rehabilitation to build up and clear brain fog. These are the kinds of things uh, that are being um, uh, that are being undertaken. There is no standardized treatment. D'Astasio and her medical team decided that weight loss surgery could help to reduce some of the breathing challenges. I recently had gastric sleeve surgery in hopes that hopefully the weight loss would help with the breathing. We've tried, we're trying every avenue basically. <laughs> Do you feel in some way that this has made you focus more on your overall health? Yes, yes. I have gone to see every doctor under the sun. I've seen even neurologists, um, you name it. The, the nutritionist I never went to see before. So yeah, I've gone to see a variety of different doctors. Is and that I've, a silver lining in all of this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to say, yeah. She's just begun losing weight from the surgery, and she's hoping this full-scale approach to getting healthy will allow her to do things like go back to the gym, even just clean her house more easily again. I want to go back to normal activity. I work in a school, and I'm up on the third floor, and just the stairs alone, it's a struggle. I have to take a lot of breaks in between. So that, that's another thing too, that's it is affecting my everyday life. And she hopes to be back in front of her fifth grade classroom with the energy she's always had for teaching. I wanna go back to being just normal. <laughs> for NJ Spotlight News, I'm Joanna Gagas.